the latest victim to be taken into isolation in Wuhan. For a moment, the woman pulls off her mask to breathe. Those without symptoms would not dare do that here. The spread of the coronavirus is accelerating. Authorities unable to confine it. Unconfirmed pictures from inside a hospital showing it overwhelmed. Patients treated in corridors, all medical staff in full protection suits. One doctor has already died. Another cries out, overwhelmed by the workload in a city that no one can leave or enter. In a meeting with state officials, President Xi described it as a grave situation, demanding all patients to be put in a centralized quarantine for treatment, though that may prove difficult with 1,300 cases already confirmed. Five are in neighboring Hong Kong, which has declared its highest level of emergency. All cultural and sports visits within China are banned, warned Chief Executive Carrie Lam, as well as closing schools for a fortnight and threatening prison for anyone not declaring their arrival from the mainland. French doctors say that the first three patients known to have the virus in Europe are all now recovering well. 31 people suspected of having it in the UK have all had their tests returned negative, but it does seem only a matter of time before it arrives. I certainly think we can anticipate that there may be cases. It's, it's not inevitable, uh, but I think we need to be prepared for the fact that there may be cases here. So long as they are isolated quickly and treated appropriately, uh, we don't really need to worry about onward transmission because we have seen in other countries that it is possible to contain this virus if identified early. It has though spread to Nepal, Malaysia, the US, and now to four patients in Australia. I wouldn't be surprised if we had further uh, confirmed cases. As I've said previously, however, Australia is very well prepared. Across Asia, travellers are having their temperatures monitored. Yet reportedly, American officials have tomorrow been given permission to land a plane in Wuhan and evacuate hundreds of their own citizens. The only sliver of good news that no one so far is understood to have transferred the virus after leaving China. Richard Palo, ITV News.